And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to group and ungroup objects. If you just want to know how that works, go to object and there you find the group. Ctrl G is the short key or ungroup, shift Ctrl G. But let me show you a practical application of that. I create a circle and I hold Ctrl when I drag that. Let me go to object, fill in stroke and I'll increase the stroke width. Uh, maybe to 20 millimeters here. That should be fine. I'll deselect it. I create a new circle, but this time I want to have it like this. So it's not a perfect circle, just an ellipse. And I don't want to have a stroke, so I'll shift, click on the X, and I click on a black color to give it a black fill. Let me right click, duplicate, and I drag the duplicate out of there. If I now go to the align and distribute, let me just select it all and I align it. You can see that the eyes, they are overlapping each other, so they are treated as two objects. But when I shift click on both, so I select them both and then I press Ctrl G, I group them, I select it all. And if I align it now, the two eyes are treated as one object. So that's what you most often need the group function for. You can press Ctrl Shift G to ungroup it or go to object and ungroup it. Let me complete this smiley design with the mouth. I'll just use the busy tool. Left click, I hold Ctrl, left click again and then drag. And I've got this handle. I'll need to increase the stroke width. Let me go to 20 as well, and I want to have a round cap. Maybe I'll adjust it a little bit. Well, let me first align it to center. Yeah, I need to adjust it slightly. So I'll use the notes tool, click on the right node, and I've got my handle. You can select it all afterwards and group it again. And this is how you can group and ungroup objects in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.